Our approach to safety begins long before a pipeline is laid and continues for the life of the project. Also important is our commitment to long-term relationships with our neighbors and community leaders, which is underpinned by early and ongoing consultation. This involves working with all stakeholders along the route to reach agreements on access, right-of-way, and temporary workspaces. Construction begins by preparing the route, which includes installing temporary safety barriers and signs, and establishing environmental protection measures such as drainage controls. Next, a trench is created. Topsoil is separated from the subsoil and set aside for reuse once construction has been completed. Pipe sections are laid out in a string along the route in preparation for welding. These sections are bent as needed to fit the contour of the land and the trench so that the pipeline can be safely installed. The pipe sections are then welded together. Quality control checks are performed on all welds to verify integrity. The pipeline is laid into the trench. The trench is then backfilled with the existing subsoil. Pressurized water is used to test the pipeline, also known as a hydro test, and confirm it is fit for service. Once the pipeline passes the hydro test, it is tied in to the existing system. The topsoil is then replaced, and work begins to restore the pipeline right-of-way. Once in operation, the pipeline is monitored 24-7 by personnel in control centers. The pipeline right-of-way is maintained to ensure safe access for maintenance and emergency response purposes. Maintaining ongoing relationships with our stakeholders helps protect the pipeline and the communities through which it operates.